Uh, the United States and Japan also acknowledged that China's behavior uh, were inconsistent with the existing international order, presents political, economic, military, and technological challenges, not just to our alliance, but to the international community as a whole. Amid growing geopolitical com competition and challenges such as COVID-19, uh, climate change, and revitalizing democracy, the US and Japan we renewed our commitment to promoting a free and open Indo-Pacific and a rules-based international order. And we also affirmed the importance of trilateral cooperation uh, among the US, uh, Republic of Korea and Japan, including especially uh, on the denuclearization of North Korea. Uh, during a meeting with Prime Minister Suga, uh, Secretary Blinken and Secretary Austin reaffirmed that the US, uh, we have an unswavering, unwavering commitment to the defense of Japan under Article 5 of our security treaty, uh, which includes the Senkaku Islands, and the U.S. remains opposed to any unilateral attempt to change the status quo in the East China Sea. Uh, my question is about the joint statement uh, of 2 plus 2 uh, about the two countries. Uh, there are a little bit little difference between two. Uh, in the 2 plus 2 joint statement of U.S. and South Korea, uh, there were no word of China and also the writing about the denuclearization of North Korea was a kind of moderate than Japan and the US. So how will the United States uh, improve the gap, perception gap between Japan and South Korea uh, from the perspective of North Korea and China? Thank you. No, thanks Watanabe-san, great question. Uh, you know, and very observant of you to see that uh, the contents of both joint statements are, are different. Um, you know, this is a negotiated, uh, these are negotiated documents between, uh, between ourselves and our allies in both, both Tokyo and Seoul. Uh, and they, you know, they reflect uh, priorities and, uh, you know, different focuses, foci of, of both, of, of all of our countries. And, um, you know, what can I say? It's, uh, I mean, the documents speak for themselves. Uh, and we had very, uh, both in both capitals, we had very intense conversations uh about challenges we all face whether they emanate from north korea's nuclear and missile programs whether they emanate from uh china's uh coercive behavior in south and east china seas in in regards to taiwan and in, in, in efforts to undermine uh autonomy long established autonomy uh in hong kong uh, whether it's china's ac actions to uh you know violate uh, basic principles of religious freedom as we see in xinjiang um these are all conversations uh, that we had uh, in both capitals with, with China or with with Japan and South Korea, but the uh, the statements uh, do speak for themselves and reflect uh, you know very intense, uh, but close conversations that we had uh, and productive conversations we had with uh, with our counterparts in in both countries. Two quick question. Uh, one is I understand you're not in a position to talk about the Alaska meeting, but uh, I was just wondering wondering that uh, what was the most uh, imminent concern that the U.S. and Japan shared during the meeting, and that, that should be the, the two countries believe that should be addressed directly to China. Um, second question is uh, regarding trilateral cooperation. Uh, are there any specific steps that the U.S. are considering to enhancing the uh, trilateral cooperation at this moment? Thank you. Sure. Well, I think uh, as, as reflected in the various uh, documents that came out of the visit uh, in Tokyo, whether it's the two plus two joint statement or whether it's the readouts of, of Secretary Blinken's meetings with, with Foreign Minister Motegi, uh, with Prime Minister Suga, uh, you know, they, I think they, they do, it's pretty transparent. Uh, they do state, uh, you know, our, our concerns about what's happening um, with China in terms of uh, attempts to undermine established international order uh, to undermine uh, democracy and uh, you know freedom of, of navigation and, and things like that and so um, we um, you know we had very open and, and transparent and, and good conversation with our Japanese allies as we always do uh, but as Secretary Blinken has said uh, with China the, the aspects of our of our relationship with China um, will 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 have different uh, you know, we'll have different tones depending. I mean, we'll, you know, we want to cooperate with, with China um, when we can. We'll, we'll uh, be competitive uh, when we should and, and we'll be, you know, uh, it'll be adversarial when we must. Um, but I think it's, it's finding, uh, you know, finding these areas 
uh, and in dealing with them, it's going to be a key conversation with Japan, certainly uh, going forward. My question is kind of related to the previous one. And I know that you're not taking any questions about the meeting going on <clears throat> in Alaska, excuse me. Um, but could I ask you what kind of topics you've discussed with the two governments in, in advance and in, in kind of preparation for the Alaska meeting during this trip? Yeah, well, I think, I mean, um, really, I mean, even separate from from the trip, I think, you know, we expressed um, and we shared our views uh, with with the governments in, in Tokyo and Seoul about our concerns, you know, what's going on. Uh, uh, what we see is, is efforts by by China to undermine the the existing international order to uh, take steps vis-a-vis -vis, um, Taiwan to to limit Taiwan's international space Hong Kong to undermine the autonomy uh, that country or I'm sorry <laughs> uh, that Hong Kong has enjoyed uh, for decades as as established by an international agreement between uh, China and the United Kingdom uh, many decades ago uh, you know what we're seeing uh, in the East China Sea with the Senkakus in the South China Sea um, what we're seeing internally um, in terms of what's happening with, with Xinjiang. I mean, these are areas of great concern uh, and, and certainly uh, things we've discussed in the past um, with, uh, with Seoul and with Tokyo. Uh, so it wasn't really specific to the upcoming or the ongoing, I should say, the meeting that's happening right now in, in, in Alaska. Um, and certainly uh, we've, we've been, uh, we've welcomed uh, the, the public messages that our allies in Tokyo and Seoul have have made about um, about their concerns, what's happening in in you know with regards to, to China and whether it's in Xinjiang or regards to to Hong Kong or, or Taiwan and um, you know this is a subject of conversation that's going to continue uh, with with both allies going forward uh, and again not specific to to any sort of meetings that we're having uh, with the Chinese at any given moment.